Hello, uh, this video is to help you, uh, guide you to find your way around Canvas and to access the assignments that are on Canvas for College Algebra. On the, on the left hand side of Canvas you can see here that you have your tabs which are modules, your assignments, syllabus, grades, the, and the net tutor as well. So, um, first thing we want to do is, uh, in your modules, you have uh, sort of the beginning page, you have the getting started. Um, so the getting started is basically like a library of information that you can find in your syllabus. It just talks about, you know, um, what are the requirements for the attendance? What is the course structure of the class? What is the course content? Uh, the instructor contact information, um, access in a textbook that's free online, syllabus, you know, the grade book, um, being successful in this course, the course schedule, questions about the course. Um, sorry, scroll there real quick. So there's questions uh, about the course, you know, course objectives, SLOs, um, learning Desmos, which is an online uh, graphing calculator. And then below that, you can see that there are student support and resources for getting started with Canvas, um, student support services, and so on. So um, again, this is just sort of a library place to find all this information. A lot of this is already in your syllabus. Now, um, in the next tab, you can see where it says Chapter 1 Prerequisites, which is the review. Um, so uh, this is um, not a requirement. This is something that is a prerequisite for the course. So um, if you find yourself, you know, needing a little bit more, um, you know, time on, you know, certain topics like, you know, real numbers, or you need to go back and take a look at exponents or, you know, radicals and rational exponents. Um, you can always come back here, look at the videos, and then do some of the practice. So um, that's there for you. It's not required, but again, it's just a review. Now, the next thing we want to do is you see unit two. This is where we're going to start the course. Right below that, you see the orientation assignment. So you want to make sure you complete that, which is due February 3rd. There's a video instructions inside there when you open that up. And then below that you have introduce yourself, which is um, an exercise just basically, you know, what are your goals? You know, what, what are the things that you feel like you're going to be able to do to be successful in this course? So these two assignments, you can see the due dates for those. Now, right below that, you're going to see where it says section 2.1, the rectangular coordinate system and graphs. So let's go ahead and click on the lecture videos because this is what you're going to do to see the lecture. So when you click on that, right below that, you're going to see the learning objectives for this section. And then below that, it'll say, pre, uh, please download and print guided notes. Now, this is your choice, um, but, you know, these are uh, uh, blank notes for you to be able to use as you follow through the lecture, you know, do the examples that you see in the lecture and also um, uh, any definitions and terms that you need to kind of be familiar with. Um, right below that is the link to the online free textbook. So you can click on that to get to the uh, online textbook. Let's go ahead and click on that just so that we can see uh, what this represents here. So um, here you can see uh, this gives you the table of uh, contents. It brings you straight to the section that we're working on. And so um, as you come back up here, um, let's say you want to close out of the table of contents. Um, and then at the top here where it says, there's an arrow, it says College Algebra. If you click on that, what that's going to do is it's going to give you this information. You have, um, you can download uh, the app, you can view it online, you can download the PDF if you like. Um, and then you can look at the student resources. And then in the student resources section, you can see that there's a student getting started guide. There's the reading and note taking guide and student time management guide. Now, if we go back to the uh, the book details um, and then look at the table of contents, okay, if you go all the way down, um, each particular chapter is going to have the review exercises um, and chapter review. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom of the table of contents, then you're going to see the answer key for chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so on. So you can access your textbook from there. Now, right below the textbook link, you're going to see the title of each particular video that I've created for this section and other sections. So the videos, um, you know, they, they can range maybe up to a minute, uh, 
Some could be five minutes, um, no more than 10. Um, but a lot of them are, are just short uh, videos for you to be able to look at the examples from the particular section and the titles at the top of each one of them. So as you scroll down, um, you can use your guided notes and kind of um, watch the lecture as you're going through that. And then once you get to the very bottom of all the lecture videos, you're going to see that there's a link there for the completed lecture notes. So you can download those um, once you're complete, once you're done with the lecture videos. Now, once you're, once you go through, this is the step that you want to follow. Once you complete all the, vi the lecture videos, then you're going to select next down here to move on to the video assignment. So this is the first assignment that you're going to access before you get to your homework assignment. The video assignment you're going to see here where it says resume. Um, it says that there's 15 questions. If you hit the drop down menu, then you can see those questions. If you select question one, you're going to see what it's asking you to do. It's saying here to plot points. And then if you feel that you need a little bit more help on that, well, you can click down the video. Um, a lot of the questions are going to have video. There may be some that doesn't have them because it's similar to like this first question. But if you click the video, it's going to give you a similar question to what you see in front of you here. So um, again, video, the video assignments are a requirement, so you got to make sure you complete them for each particular section. So you want to do these first, and that's going to allow you to move on to the homework. So we're going to click Next. Now, the homework is going to be in what we call WebAssign. So um, this is probably the first time that you're going to access WebAssign is by clicking on this link. So it's going to tell you it's going to load that particular homework 2.1 in the new window. So when you open that up, it's going to bring you to that assignment. Now it's bringing me to this assignment. And the reason is, is because um, uh, I have an existing account. So um, when you first log in, it's going to either ask you to um, put in an existing account. That, so if you've had WebAssign before, you can use that existing account or you can create one. Um, once you create it, it brings you directly into WebAssign. There's no course code or whatever. It's going to bring you right to uh, the assignment. And then at the top, you're going to see how many days are remaining for the temporary passcode because it automatically registers you for the temporary pass. Now, if you have an access code or you want to purchase it or, you know, 14 days from now, you're going to purchase it. So you're going to select here where it says purchase access now. So here it brings you to this page. It says here that uh, if you have an access code, you can click on that and then enter it. And then down below here, you have these three options. But my option, according to the syllabus, is to use the single term access only because again like I stated it is under uh, the $40 um, as stated on the syllabus. Now if you have any questions you can also chat with an expert if there's any technical issues that you may have. Um, uh, using uh, Chrome, Google Chrome or Firefox is going to be probably the better browser for you because um, uh, you may have issues where it's saying that it's logging you out or you, it may tell you that you don't have access to it because it may be a browser issue. So be careful on which browser that you use. Now, if you want to go back to the course, well, you can go back and hit the drop down menu. And then below here on the left hand side, you're going to see where it says your class. So if you click on that, it'll bring you back to the class in WebAssign. Okay, now that we're back at this page, you can see that what's available here is homework 2.1 and 2.2. The reason why those are available is because I clicked the link in Canvas. These other ones aren't going to open up until you click it in Canvas. So that's the reason why that you're seeing this. It's saying to access assignment, you have to open it first from your learning management system, meaning you got to open it up in Canvas to be able to access the assignment. Now, um, if I click if I right click and open this up in a new page, this assignment, um, you're going to see this page here with your homework. And at the very top, you're going to see my assignments, grades, communication calendar. And then over here, it's going to show my ebooks. So if you click on that and let's say you want to access a textbook, 
you can also access it from here. Okay, so there's the textbook information. And then here, when you're looking at the assignment, you can see that you have your 10 questions. Um, and then below here, what you can do is you can see that you have, you know, your notes. You can ask your teacher. It'll send me the email if you have any questions. Um, or you can practice another question. Um, you have unlimited amount of times to be able to get 100% on it. Um, and some, some questions will have, you know, uh, the ebook attached to it or an example video as well, like the video assignment. So therefore, um, this is how you access your, uh, your homework assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and then close that. And so now, um, what you do next is then start over. So then you're going to go to section 2.2. Again, you're going to print, you know, the guided notes, read the material, and then watch the lecture videos. Okay. And then once you get finished with that, then you follow the same pattern here. Then you're going to go ahead and select the video assignment and then complete the video assignment. And then moving on to the 2.2. Uh, so again, you have to be in Canvas to access any future assignments. You must open it up in a new window for you to do that. So this is your um, introductory to, uh, to Canvas and your web assign assignments. Um, please do not hesitate to ask any questions. Um, leave questions in the questions about the course um, so everybody can see that. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, again, don't hesitate to ask any questions.